and they turn it over to Ty Story, and all he has done is win seven of nine games. When things don't go your way, you keep grinding and wait your turn. That's exactly what Ty Story has done, and now he leads this Hilltopper team into the first responder bowl in the FBS. Third down and nine coming up for the Hilltoppers. Four-man rush from Western Michigan. Story, who loves to run it when he has an opportunity, creates some space, throws, and that one is picked off around the 30-yard line by Western Michigan. Alex Grace comes up with the pick, the senior linebacker. Giovanna Ricci in motion to tie it in, gets a good block. That allows Tucker to get it over the 40 out near the 44-yard line, picks up nine, and that'll move the chains. Hand it off to Tucker. Another big run. Runs over a hilltopper into Western Kentucky territory. Wasink looking to throw. Dumps it off underneath. Pass is caught there inside the 35. Tucker in the game at running back. Wasink throws. Steps up in the pocket. Fires a strike to the far sideline. That pass is caught. That'll be a first down inside the 20. A pickup of 13 is Sky Moore. To a 30-yard field goal attempt from Caps, who was 8 out of 13 on the season. And he will hammer this one through the uprights. Coach Lester, who won six games in his first year, seven last year, and trying to push it up to eight with a win here today against Western Kentucky. Gain of 10 as Lucky Jackson makes the catch. Will be good for him in the coming weeks and months. He'll stand in this pocket, dump it off underneath. Goes to Gage Walker. Gage, the redshirt junior out of Tampa, Florida. That's a really good story about how he got to play running back. Gets the handoff here, makes a man miss. And drives his way to the 45, and that's how he got to become a running back. Was actually a defensive back. An inside drill. Guys, no inside drill is not fun. Going to the outside, that pass caught there by Lucky Jackson. Second down and medium. Story underneath again. Lucky Jackson finding some room to run. Gets a block, turns the corner to the 20. Stutter steps it all the way down to the 17-yard line. Pressure comes, Story sees it, underneath again, pass is caught, this will be a touchdown for the Hilltoppers. Jacor Pearson with his seventh touchdown reception of the year. 17 yards. Story stands in the pocket, throws, pass is caught to the tight end, the young man they love, Joshua Simon. Has an opportunity here on third down. Quick hitter, Lucky Jackson first down to the 37-yard line. That'll move the chains. Boy, we see that a lot. You just talked about it. These quick hitters are Ty Story. Pass is caught. Sloan. Again inside the red zone. Pushed out of bounds at the 16, a 21-yard pickup. And the Hilltoppers moving now. Eight out of nine inside 30 yards. This will be from 26. His right-footed kick is on the way, and it is hammered through the uprights. Three yards in his career, fifth at Western Michigan. His 35 rushing touchdowns, fourth at Western Michigan. Wasink will throw here underneath route. Pass is caught. That'll be close to midfield. Good play on first down. Throw it again here. Wasink high, and it's picked off. A little bit late. Tried to hit Ricci the tight end, and that one is scooped up by Kyle Bailey. What about eight? Wide open, sitting down is Joshua Simon, the tight end inside the 25. Every single week is fun to watch, unless you're the opposing defense. Story will throw. That one is picked off. It was batted in the air. This could be trouble for Western Kentucky. Kareem Ali to the house. Touchdown, Broncos. 85 yards. Depends on this first play how successful it is. 
Looks pretty successful here with Gage Walker picking up the first down near the 49-yard line and an injured Bronco back around the 32. They'll send Gage Walker in motion underneath route. Pass is caught there by Jacor Pearson. That's a first down to stop the clock after a nine-yard pickup. Story over the middle. Pass caught by the tight end, Simon. He's down around the 10-yard line. Took a tough hit and held on after a 24-yard pickup. 29-yard field goal attempt from Corey Munson. He is hit from 26. Good clean snap. Kick is on the way. And he will miss it. Oh, my goodness. That'll be the That's final the play. Western's first. Western's first. Long four, short five. Nice story. Gets hit immediately. He never even got his eyes down the field. Malavani came in flying like a missile. Wasink throws a quick slam pass caught. Sky Moore out over the 40 to the 42 yard line. A big gainer there for the Broncos. Quick slant over the middle to the tight end, Ricci, and he is cut down at the Hilltopper 49, and that'll be short of the line to gain. Handoff goes to Bellamy. He has the first down and then subbed at the 43-yard line. Gain of seven. Four-man rush by the Hilltoppers. Wasink sees a little bit of room up the middle, will take it himself. He's to the 30 and has another first down at the 29. Give him 13 yards. From the six yard line, see what he dials up on a two tight end set. He'll throw it, quick slant, touchdown Broncos. That one goes to Deshaun Bustle. here on a fourth down and about a yard and a half. Ty Story keeps it off the right side. And does his knee go down? It's just, to me, it's hard to After tell. After further review, the runner was short of the line to gain. The ball will be placed at the 43 and a half yard line. It will be first down, Western Michigan. Mode. Yeah. <laughs> Had to go fix a bloody nose. Ty Story with a great play fake off the right side, and he'll have the first down, and there come some flags as Story is tackled in that hilltopper bench area by Trey Hayward. Beginning of your life, so I'll leave everything on the line today. Four-man rush, Story tried to keep his feet, but hits the deck. He'll lose a couple of yards. Ralph Holly putting the pressure on the quarterback for a loss of five. So now it's fourth down and eight. They will go for it again from the 49. Story back to throw. Pocket collapses. Throws to his lucky charm named Lucky Jackson. That's a first down. And that is yet another catch. Last game, which was against Middle Tennessee back at the end of November. So Story's throw to who else? Lucky Jackson. He'll get it down to the 13. That's a pickup of eight. Story throws on the run, touchdown, Hilltoppers, and who else but Lucky Jackson. Back to back seasons as a first team all MAC performer. Having a tough time today finding any room, so they'll throw it here with Wasink, and that pass is caught. Well, that's a nice job on the outside by Corey Crooms. Going fast. Wasink's pass is caught. That one goes to. Bustle next to the right of Wasink. We'll run it again. And Bellamy inside the 20 will have the first down after that six and a half yard gain. Checks it at running back, a two tight end set. Wasink spins right into trouble, tries to get the pass away, and he does. Tyler turns the corner to the five and pushed out of bounds. He is hit from 30 today, this from 20. From the far hash, low snap, kick is on the way, and he will hammer it through the uprights. Second down and 10. Story. Wide open is Simon. Inside the 40, down to the 39. 
formation. First down and 10 inside the 40-yard line. Little toss. Lucky Jackson turns the corner. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Just shy of the 25-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Pressure comes. Hilltoppers pick it up. Pass is caught inside the 15. Again, the tight end, Joshua Simon, who has had a heck of a day. 14 more yards. Snap is good. Kick is on the way, and he splits the upright, and we are tied at 20. After pass, to complete that first down. Quick snap here. Wasink going near sideline. Pass is caught. Oh, what a grab. Deshaun Bustle with the catch of the day. 33 yards, and he is injured in the process. Oh, my goodness. Wasink oh no. had the first wow. down and a lot more, and he loses two as he stumbles out of the gate. Oh, my goodness. Now it's fourth down and three. Oh, wow. Wasink throws on the run. Batted away, and Western Kentucky stops it on fourth down, and they'll get the football with 27 seconds to play. 300-plus passing yards. Story stands in the pocket, drops it off underneath, gets it to Gage Walker, who gets out of bounds over the 40, but 15 seconds on the clock. That's a gain of 11. Similar here, which keeps somebody over the top and underneath. Four man rush by the Broncos. Story, he will get it to Walker, and he's out of bounds inside the 40 with three seconds to go. They'll spot it at the 39. So here we go. Final play of regulation. Story to the end zone. In the air, and it is batted down, and we are headed to overtime. Well, that was an anticlimactic three seconds. <laughs> oh, we got, a, we got a flag. Do we have a flag? Wait a minute. Hold on. So we're going to count them up here for you, up front, what we can see from this angle guys who are in the shot down the middle, but we can't see the guy who's outside the hash. Right. There's the three guys across the back, the front end line, and then the fourth guy, number 13, who was sitting outside the hash. That is absolutely 12 guys on the field. You got to give them a chance. The foul for substitution with 12 in the formation is confirmed. We have one on time down. Give him a shot at it. It's definitely long enough, and it is good! Unbelievable. And they got there because Western Michigan had 12 on the field.